Hey, this is how to play Take On Me from AHA. A couple different ways on guitar. I'm going to show you the way that I um, would probably do it, knowing that there's another guitar player and a keyboard player. If there's a keyboard player, this is a decent way to do it. Um, even if there's not, actually. But here, I'll give you the rundown. Essentially, the, the lead melody is something you probably want to play just for fun to double. And, um, if you want to, it just goes... <laughs> Alright, um, now, if the keyboard player is already doing that, and you want to add something else, because it's tough for a keyboard player to do that, and the lead, the other lead part, you can do the chords, where after it goes a few times, alright, it's going to go to this thing, it goes... And then it starts the song out with the vocals. Alright, so for that, it's going to be just um, thirds, basically, so you're going to go together... And the next one's going to be these two on the G and B. And then you're putting this one up. And then the last one. Or you can do it there. Whatever's easier for you. All right. Now, this part, most guitar players, probably 90% of them at least, would go... Sorry, minor on the first, so you have a B minor. So I'll give you the easy way, basically. Guitar players normally go major or so the first part of that chord. It's just a D major, then you're taking the, the almost like a D major seven. But what they're actually doing, I think, is playing is playing the F minor seven chord, which is very similar. So if you want to do the F minor seven, you could go. I'm sorry. Which would be. However, you wouldn't want to play in that voicing. You want to do it down like a. That's why I keep I keep it right there. It's easy, or you could just do it. That's a little bit low, so keep it where we were doing with the D. So, oops, sorry, minor on the B, B minor, E major, A major, D major, and then it's like kind of in between a D major seven, just those three notes, and the F. Minor seven. All right, so that's that's the basic way a guitar player do it, or you could just sort of rhythmically go. All right, but the way I like to do it is play the keyboard low and arpeggiator. Like, uh, of course, a lot of times when there's a keyboard player live, they're not going to be able to put but all over the place while they're doing other stuff. <coughs> so to make their life easier, I'll hold down a keyboard part um, that's an arpeggio part. So it's, it's fun, too. It's going... So with the first part, instead of just doing a straight B minor, we're going. There's your first arpeggio for the first chord. Second chord, it's different. It's not the same pattern it goes. So it's doing it on the E. So first one. Second one, but you're only doing them each once, so. Then the third one, that's different again, so. The third one.
one's going to be. So again. So first one, second one, third one, fourth one. All right, so you just want to loop those over and over. It's very easy once you get it down, and it's going to sound cool. You want to palm mute it, use a rhythm like a... Oops. Yeah. All right, I messed up at the end there, but you get the point. I'm going faster than the song. Anyway. It's probably like, let me see, it's a quick song. Right about there. Yeah, it's going too fast. It's going to feel a little bit weird. Um, because the, the way you're wrapping the rhythm around is contrasting the way everything else feels. Now, if you wanted to cheat this, if, you, if you're not fast enough or accurate enough to get the, these arpeggios down and you had to quick do the song or something, Instead of just doing the straight chords, you could kind of cheat it and arpeggiate straight through the chords. Instead of doing the exact part going boom, 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 right? You could just go. Just do some kind of arpeggio through the chords. All right? So anyway, you get the point. One more through that part. I messed it up. All right, and then it's going to go. Take on a low A, and we're going to hit it to take a major. So, take E, D, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it goes up to the F minor, so, A major, E major, A, F minor, is that, <coughs> sorry, F sharp minor, if I've been saying F, I meant F sharp, and then down to the D major, alright, so, A, But on that last one, you're not going up to the F minor, F sharp minor, you're going. Alright, so it just goes D back to the E. And then you go back to that part, alright? And the chorus is, of course, or on the um, hook, you go. Now there's a part of the song that changes after the, the second chorus probably. Um, it's gonna go. I'm sorry. All right, so for that you're doing a five five interval. The first one is gonna be the um, D flat. And if you wanted to hit the G down, you go. Now on the third chord there it goes. stops on that note and it repeats those two so but you want to go Oops. so to do this you want to slide you could go you know but I think it's easier to just go slide And then it goes. So those two chords there, because the keyboard probably handled the all that stuff. You want to go B up 
to the E. Alright, and then it repeats. Then it's on. Alright, um, now you gotta watch because that comes one extra time than you would expect. And as it's coming back into the last verse, it does again, but it's only the reverb of the sound. So I don't know if you want to do it or not. I, I like to do this. So we just. If you want to cheat, you go. Oh, if I had enough gain. Let me see. You can tap it. No, that's fine. I think that's essentially the song. Actually, those are all the parts to it. So I would say to practice that, it's cool. You know, don't forget the beginning. All right, and then the the chorus. Alright, that should be enough time. Hope I didn't go over. Good luck.